Wealth management is a term in our industry that's been used quite a bit over the last several years. I think it's being used a little fast and loose. Uh, we've defined it through a facilitated process. So if you want to know what pediatric medicine is, go ask pediatricians what the knowledge and skills should be to do pediatric medicine. So IMCA, as a credentialing organization with a certified private wealth advisor credential, went out to 40,000 wealth managers and ask them to define what it is and what the knowledge and skills required are. It is a specialized set of knowledge and skills. We've grouped those into four knowledge domains. Human dynamics, uh, wealth management strategies, tax, estate planning, the client specialization skills, so closely held business owners and you know executives and then legacy planning, so charitable planning strategies and all of those. That's the four knowledge domains for wealth management. Now it's not wealth management. We looked a lot at that and some of the topics identified through the job analysis were too basic for an advanced competency in wealth management. So for example, basic insurance, budgeting, um, basic tax planning, you know, filling out a, a tax form for a client, those type of skills that are often taught in financial planning programs are fundamental and foundational for what high net worth clients need, which is a lot more specialized and sophisticated. We ask the, the, the participants in the study to define where wealth management starts, and they said five million in client net worth and up. So that's about a million households in the U.S. Assuming an advisor can serve, let's say, 50 households, that's about 20,000 advisors. So at Morgan Stanley or Merrill Lynch have wealth management divisions. Some are for a very high net worth, 10 million and up clients. Some are at one to five million. So that kind of sets it at around 15 to 20,000 advisors that are in that space serving high net worth clients with that sophisticated set of knowledge. What we want to try to do with the definition for private wealth advice is codify the body of knowledge that is wealth management. So we can build an examination and certification requirements for the CPWA program that assess whether an advisor meets those advanced competencies. 